Hello. If you had to answer the question which country has the most experience in taking snake skins and soaking them in alcohol for more than 40 years, which country would you immediately think of? That is China, a country that not only has a large population but is also the country with the largest snake farms. Join me in discovering the snake care process on farms to earn millions of dollars each year in the following video. Why do Chinese people develop their economy thanks to the snake business? In 1972, in Tutuqiu village, Zhejiang province, China, Mr. Yang Hongcheng was nicknamed Snake King because of his great contributions to the snake farming industry in China. Tutuqiu village is also known as the most famous snake village in China, with more than 800 households raising snakes, with a total number of snakes of more than 3 million. The snake farming industry has helped local people improve their quality of life. If you have ever participated in the snake breeding process, please comment number one below. People in Tutuqiu village build livestock cages to be able to raise more than 3 million snakes. I think you are also very wondering about this, right? In the snake industry in China, cage construction is often done with a brick frame and a floor covered with a layer of sand and then bricks placed on top. The cages are often divided into small cells to create separate spaces for each snake. Bricks are often chosen as construction materials because of their resistance and good thermal insulation properties. Three dot one using bricks helps protect snakes from the intrusion of insects and other harmful animals from outside. The cage floor is built in such a way as to ensure the snake's comfort and health. The sand layer helps absorb moisture and create a humid environment, while the bricks help retain heat and make cleaning the barn easier. The cage door will be made of steel mesh so that breeders can easily observe the condition of the snakes inside and prevent them from escaping. Especially when encountering China's humid tropical climate, a barn model like this is very suitable. Each farm area is usually installed with one to three ventilation fans to improve air circulation and reduce the temperature in the barn, especially on hot days. Have you observed that snake cages are not built on top of each other but people here also build cages below ground to help raise animals in large quantities and optimize the area? The size of each cage will be 3x 2x 4 feet, enough for them to live and grow well. After learning about the scale of animal husbandry, before feeding snakes people often wear flashlights on the top of their heads to easily observe and approach them in dark environments. Wearing a flashlight is to prevent attacks from snakes especially when they are ready to hunt. When feeding, people often wear glasses to protect their eyes from any possible snake attacks. Food is usually prepared in small plates, each plate can hold about three ducklings. This makes it easy for the feeder to accurately quantify the amount of food for each snake. Use a pick stick to place each plate of food into the cages, keeping humans at a distance from the snake. The frequency of feeding them is usually three to four times a month. You will wonder why snakes feed with such little frequency, right? Feeding your snake too often can lead to a buildup of food in the digestive system, causing health problems such as diarrhea or indigestion. Six dot feeding snakes food from fresh poultry can be beneficial in the process of getting their skin. Fresh food contains many nutrients and moisture, which helps improve the snake's health and enhance the flexibility of its skin.
when snakes consume fresh food, their bodies will absorb the necessary nutrients to maintain health and regenerate skin cells effectively. In particular, eating fresh food can increase the elasticity and softness of the skin, making the skin removal process easier and less painful. The snake skin will then be of better quality and can be used to produce products such as snake skin for crafts or in the fashion industry. After the breeding process, snakes raised for one to two years will be taken to the processing factory. The snake skin removal process is complex and thorough, performed by professional and technical people. Initially, the processor will faint and separate the snake's head from the body. In China, people often use the method of fainting them by placing them in a cloth bag and then injecting an amount of CO2 or methane gas to stun them safely and effectively. After separating the head from the body, people will let the water hose enter the snake's body to inflate it. This helps the snake's body tense up creating favorable conditions for separating the skin more easily. Next, each snake will be hung on a rack to proceed with the skin removal process. People will separate the skin from the bottom of the snake's body to keep the beautiful skin on top intact. People who make snake skin require professionalism and skill in each step to avoid damaging any skin. After the skin has been separated, people will use scraping tools to remove the layer of fat under the skin. This creates a clean and beautiful leather, ready for further processing such as bleaching and softening. After getting the snake skin, the people of Tutu Q Village will carry out the drying process by hanging the skin outdoors, under natural sunlight. to create shiny and durable snakeskin at temperatures from 60 def to 80 def. The process of exposing snakeskin to natural light usually lasts for a certain period, depending on specific weather conditions and the humidity of the surrounding environment. Snake leather is highly appreciated for its unique beauty and elegance. Products made from snake leather always attract the attention of the upper class. Snakeskin possesses impressive scaly lines, creating distinction and prominence for fashion products. The most expensive type of snakeskin is cobra snakeskin, which costs from 500 USD to 1,500 USD more than green snakeskin. Products made from green snake leather are cheap from 200 USD to 500 USD, Surely you are no longer far from luxury brands like Gucci Tici, Hermes, and Louis Vuitton. If you are someone who wants to own products made from snake leather, go to these big stores. This place not only has belts but there are also bags and wallets for you. If you don't know what gift to give to your loved one, give them a product made from snake leather. I think they will like it. Have you ever tried any wine soaked from a snake? You will be scared when you visit Chinese people's homes, because here they soak snakes in wine. First, they will have to remove the snake's internal organs, including the liver, intestines, and other organs, leaving only the external body and skin. After removing the internal parts, the snake's body will be thoroughly cleaned with water to remove all impurities and dirt. Next, the processors will put herbs into the snake's body. They will sew the snake's body tightly together to hold it tight and ensure the herbs are absorbed evenly. At this time, the snake will be placed in a fixed position in the vase and wine will be poured in to soak. The temperature of wine typically ranges from 80 def to 100 def. 
Soaking time can also last from several months to several years, depending on the type of wine. After the wine has been soaked for enough time, it will be used in China. Snake wine is considered a valuable and special wine, often used during festivals and special celebrations. I think you should go to China once to know how people here raise snakes. Comment number one if you think enjoying snake wine is delicious. Comment zero if you own a product made from snake leather. Thank you for watching the entire video. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel to watch the next videos about the snake processing process. Killarney Station Farm, located in northern Queensland, Australia, is a symbol of large-scale beef farming. Covering approximately 2.5 million acres, the farm has seen growth since 1872 and is currently the property of the Shaw family. With an impressive scale, the farm raises about 100,000 cows, mainly of the Brahmin breed. Grazing on large grasslands, cows enjoy the natural space and ensure they grow healthily in this airy environment. Killarney Station isn't only a major beef farm, but also an important contributor to Australia's beef industry. Its location, about 1,000 miles from Cairns, making it advantageous to take advantage of a tropical climate with average temperatures ranging from 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Killarney Station Farm has a unique method of grazing cows, using both helicopters and cars to manage the herd. These helicopters hovered in the sky, accompanied by sounds coming from loudspeakers to call the cows. The cows, when they heard the loudspeaker, automatically ran after the plane. The main purpose of the plane is to lead the cows to areas with fresh grass and drinking water. In addition, the farm also used cars to graze cows. Employees drive cars throughout the farm and use loudspeakers or car horns to call the cows. Stray cows will be moved by the car and brought into the herd with hooks kept on the side. At the end of the day, planes and cars are used to lure the cows back to the farm. The cows will be attracted with food, water and shelter. This process helps the Killarney Station Farm manage its cows effectively, ensuring that they grow healthy. According to the Australian Angus Beef Association, AAIA, by 2023, the total number of Angus cows in Australia will reach about 23 million, accounting for more than 40% of the country's total beef cattle herd. Angus cattle, mainly raised in the states of Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria, stand out for their ability to adapt well to the Australian climate and environment. They graze outdoors on large grasslands, where they can endure harsh weather and find their own food and water. Australia's largest livestock farm in Anna Creek Station Farm, located in the state of South Australia, with an area of more than 4,942,100 acres, and the number of Angus cows is up to 40,000 out of a total of about 100,000 cows. In Australia, there are many popular methods of outdoor grazing for Angus cattle. Free grazing is the traditional method. Cows are allowed to roam freely on grass fields, 
and farmers only need to periodically check to make sure that you have enough food and water. The ground grazing method divides the herd into small groups, helping to manage it effectively and minimize grass damage. Seasonal grazing places cows in different areas depending on the weather, ensuring they have adequate nutrition at all times. Grazing Angus cattle outdoors isn't only an efficient method, but also a sustainable farming method. This method not only helps conserve the environment, but also delivers premium quality beef, meeting the growing demand for quality and sustainable products from consumers. Millions of these cows are auctioned each year, generating a total value of billions of dollars for the Australian farmers while making a positive contribution to the national economy. Cow auctions often take place at beef markets, where empty-handed bettors buy cows directly from ranchers. Each auction is led by a professional auctioner, who is responsible for calling bids and managing the auction process. During the auction, bettors often raise their hands or not to show their intention to bet for each cow. These prices usually range wildly from 100 to 500 Australian dollars per an animal. The auction usually takes place in the morning, starting around 7 a.m. and lasting about two to three hours. Contractors who can meet traders, meat producers, or individuals buying cattle for farming are involved in a process to ensure that they get a supply of quality cattle at the right price. Cow auctions aren't only an important means for ranchers to sell their cows at the best prices, but also a way to meet the global demand for quality beef. Therefore, this activity plays an important role in maintaining the sustainable development of the Australian beef farming industry and ensuring the supply of high-quality beef to the global market. Some free-range beef costs more than other free-range beef, ranging from $15 to $25 per pound, reflecting the quality and exceptional characteristics of the product. According to data from the Australian Department of Agriculture and Water Resources, beef consumption in Australia in 2023 is estimated to be about 2.4 million tons, accounting for about 1% of total global beef production. The average Australian consumes around 50 pounds of beef each year, but this has decreased significantly in recent years due to increased health and environmental awareness. Australian beef is known for its unique characteristics, high-quality meat with bright red color, even fat marbling in characteristic softness. The size of the piece of meat is usually larger than beef from other countries. The rich and delicious flavor of Australian beef is the result of many factors, including Australia's mild climate the natural diet of free-range cows, as well as modern processing processes. Australian beef isn't only an important source of protein, but also provides abundant iron and vitamin B12 for consumers. Choosing Australian beef isn't only about enjoying a delicious meal, but also an investment in health and quality of life. Please, tell us what type of beef you usually use in each meal. Thank you so much. Please, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, share, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications bell. So you're always in tuned 
with any of our upcoming videos. Raising sheep using the cleaning method is not only a livestock management process, but also an art that combines tradition and technology. This method brings many outstanding advantages, from breed selection, barn preparation, to healthcare and production processes, creating a modern, effective and sustainable livestock model. First of all, to start the process of raising sheep, the breed selection plays an important role. The merino sheep with their soft wool are often chosen for wool production purposes. Meanwhile, the Suffolk sheep and the Hampshire sheep are suitable for raising meat. This process requires a lot of understanding of climatic and soil conditions, ensuring the selection of breeds suitable for specific breeding purposes. After choosing the breed, preparing the barn is the important next step. Barns need to be built not only to optimize the usable area, but also to create a healthy living environment for the sheep. It must be airy, clean, and have enough light to support the growth of the herd. The sheep's diet plays a large role in ensuring the quality of the product. The automatic feeding and drinking through system helps maintaining a regular and adequate nutritional regimen. At the same time, the healthcare process, with regular checkups and vaccinations, helps ensuring the health of the sheep as well. The mechanical system plays an important role, helping to optimize the livestock farming process. The waste treatment system and temperature and humidity control helps maintaining a healthy living environment for the sheep. Raising sheep using the cleaning method not only brings high economic efficiency, but also creates good quality products. The perfect combination of tradition and technology not only meets market needs, but also contributes to the sustainability and development of the sheep farming industry. After the sheep are harvested for their wool, they will be moved to the harvesting area as they are thoroughly bathed to remove dirt and parasites, creating a clean quality. After being well prepared, the sheep will undergo shearing using specialized shearing machines. These devices are specifically designed to ensure the process to be quick and efficient, and also safe for both the operator and the sheep. After the shearing process, a screening process is performed to remove impurities. This helps ensuring that the wool after harvest will be the best quality. The wool is then sorted by length, quality, and color, creating suitable fur for each purpose. The sheep shearing is usually done in the spring or fall, when the weather is warm and dry, as this ensures that the wool is sheared smoothly and doesn't affect the health of the flock. Each adult sheep can provide approximately 10 to 20 pounds of wool per shearing session. According to the FAO, global wool production in 2022 is estimated at 1.2 million tons.
Marine wool is usually at the top in terms of value, followed by the Suffolk and the Hampshire wool. Wool is widely used in the manufacture of a variety of products, including wool, felt, carpets, furniture, toys, and many other products, creating a diverse and valuable source of raw materials. These products not only brings income to farmers, but also meet the diverse needs of the consumer market. The lamb processing in a modern factory is a complex process, requiring professionalism and a good combination of traditional art and modern technology. With detailed and careful steps, this process ensures the production of high quality and safe lamb meat for consumers. The process begins with receiving sheep from livestock farms. At this step, the sheep are checked for health and weight to ensure that they are eligible for pressing. This is an important step to ensure that the final meat is of high quality. Before entering the main processing process, the sheep are injected with anesthetics to ensure that they do not feel the pain. This increases the meat quality and reduces stress on the sheep. This step focuses on cleaning the sheep, gently removing other dirt. This not only keeps the meat clean, but also ensures food safety and hygiene. After being cleaned, sheep are classified according to size, age, and meat quality. The meat cutting process is done carefully to create different cuts of meat, tailored to the needs and requirements of consumers. Finally, the meat is packaged in clean and safe packaging. This helps preserve the meat for a long time and ensures that it reaches the consumer in the best quality. Animal sheep meat production reaches 14.5 million tons according to FAO statistics, while consumption reaches about 11.5 million tons. The average price of lamb in the U.S. in 2023 is $10.5 per pound, according to information from the USDA. These figures reflect the stability and importance of the lamb meat industry and its relationship to the world economy. From receiving the sheep to the cutting and packaging process, every step contributes to creating a safe quality lamb product that meets the need of the global market. Okay. So what methods of raising millions of sheep is applied by farmers in your area? Please comment down below to let us know right now. And for now, let's continue watching the rest of the video to get to know some of these methods in real life. Every morning, after being nourished with concentrate, the sheep are taken out to the pasture, where they can eat fresh grass and rest under the shade of trees throughout the day. They will be able to run and search for food on their own in large fields. These fields are always inspected and ensured that the fences are sturdy, that there are no wild animals, and that sheep are not stolen or stray. A field of grass can provide enough food for hundreds of sheep. The amount of grass consumed each day depends on many factors, such as sheep breed, weather, and grass quality. A typical adult sheep eats two to three pounds of grass per day. 
Compared to raising sheep on farms, grazing sheep outdoors offers many advantages. Sheep eat fresh, nutritious grass, which helps improving meat quality. Exercising a lot also helps sheep develop muscles and increase resistance. Furthermore, livestock costs are reduced because there is no need to build barns and use a lot of concentrate. According to research by the University of Melbourne, outdoor sheep grazing can reduce costs by 20% to 30% compared to raising sheep on farms. Specifically, the cost of building a barn usually ranges from $500 to $1,000 per sheep. Concentrate costs accounts for about 50% of the total cost of sheep farming and labor costs are also significantly reduced when grazing sheep outdoors. About every six months, the farm will check the weight and name tags on the sheep's ears, performing weight checks and reading information from sheep ear tags also helps farmers detect sheep health problems early. If there are signs of illness, the farm owner can promptly take the sheep for treatment, preventing the infection from spreading to other sheep. In Australia, sheep farms have a particularly important job, harvesting wool. This is a produce that is performed twice per year spring and fall. At these times, the fleece is at its peak, long and healthy. Let's look at how people do this. First, the sheep are brought to the harvested place. Then, harvesters use special tools to carefully cut the sheep's wool. Each sheep provides a different amount of wool, depending on the type of sheep and the time of harvest. The sheep's wool is cut to still look beautiful, not damaged or dirty. Australian fleas costs between $1.50 and $3 per pound depending on quality. Sheep's wool is a valuable raw material used to make wool, fabric and many other products. As for sheep, this process helps them feel cooler in the summer and also helps them grow healthily. After shearing, the sheep are taken to a bath and treated with disinfectant using a mixture called vetrazin, diluted with water. This bathing process takes place at a rate of 1,500 animals per hour. Finally, to make sure the sheep are clean and healthy, they are treated with green medicine. The time for harvesting wool from a flock is from two to three days, depending on the number of sheep. And these jobs not only bring income, but also create good living conditions for the sheep and the people who care for them. Transporting sheep around the world is a complex process and has important features that helps ensuring sheep safety and meat quality. Sheep are most often transported in the spring and fall, when the weather is warm or cool, facilitating movement. The transportation process begins with preparing the sheep. Before leaving, sheep are inspected to ensure their health and that of consumers. The sheep are then brought onto the ship by truck or tractors and housed in special ship holes designed to protect them. The departure time is usually in the evening to take advantage of the cool temperatures and reduce stress for the sheep. Shipping time depends on distance, ranging from 10 to 20 days from Australia 
to other countries around the world. On board, the sheep are fully cared for with green food, concentrates, and clean drinking water. Their health is monitored daily to detect any problems or Most importantly, these sheep must be registered and quarantined according to each country's regulations to ensure the safety of their health and that of consumers. This also brings economic benefits to Australia, which each year exporting about 5.5 million sheep, contributing to about $2 billion in revenue. Similar to sheep, cows are also one of the livestock species transported around the world. Cows are transported onto ships by trucks, then placed in special ship holds to ensure safety during the journey. Frequently, container ships or refrigerated cargo ships are used to transport cows, with frequent departures in the evening when outdoor temperatures are coolest. Shipping time depends on distance from 10 to 20 days for journeys from Australia to countries around the world. During the trip, cows are fully cared for with green food, concentrates, and clean drinking water. Cow health is checked daily to detect any problems early. Estimates shows that Australia exports about 1.5 million cows each year, contributing significantly to revenue of about $1 billion. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.